Hi guys, welcome back. This video is going to be a review and demo of the YSL uh, Fusion Ink Foundation. And I got several of these samples with my Sephora orders from the website. So um, I haven't bought the full size because I wanted to kind of try it out and tell you if it's good, if it's bad, if it's worth the money. So um, let's just get started. I already did my moisturizer, eye cream. Um, I did a the NYX Pore fill, Filler and the Too Faced Primed and Pure, Poreless Pure. Try to say that fast. Primed and Poreless Pure. <sighs> um... <laughs> And um, I'm going to apply my favorite method, which is the sponge. I'm not sure if that's going to be the best method for this foundation. Uh, I may try it with a brush. I'm just not a fan of putting my foundation on with a brush. I know that like some people think that's the only way. Some people use their hands. But for me, even the beauty blender is just not my favorite. So anyway, uh, let's get started. This is a high-end uh, foundation by YSL. It is pretty pricey. I'm going to look up the exact price and I'll put it in the down bar. But um, it has this funny applicator. So the, the cap twists on and it has this applicator that looks like strange. And I guess you would tap that on your face and then blend it in with whatever your preferred method is. Um, I'm not a big fan of that. I would rather have a pump, but it is certainly better than the kind where you have to like tilt the bottle upside down to get product out. Sorry, I feel like I have tons of primer on today. I don't like that Too Faced Primed and Poreless Pure. I keep trying to make myself use it up. And so I use a lot when I use it. I'm like, I don't, most of the stuff that I love, I like try to use sparingly, but this kind of, I'm like, yeah, let's pack it on. <laughs> okay, so let's just give it a go. Um, clean sponge, and I'm just dipping it into the pouch here. I think I have like four of these samples, so I wanted to see. I heard a lot of things about how this clings to the dry patches if you have dry skin and I certainly do but I think my skin is actually less dry now that I've been using um I've been exfoliating with my Neutrogena microderm abrasion microderm abrasion um piece of equipment I guess you could call it and I've been using um my origins moisturizer and stuff so so far honestly this seems really sheer I mean like there's something there. I can tell that I'm applying something, but I'm not getting amazing coverage. I don't know if this is light to medium. And also this sample seems pretty not generous to me. So I may have to use two of them just to get a full face. Um, I don't, I'm not seeing any coverage, are you? I hate that, I'm always talking to myself. I'm just putting a little to even out my eyes here. Of course, I'm going to have to go in with some concealer. Okay, I got the second um, trial sample size, and I have almost used all of that up. Um, I tried to do a second coat here and there as it's dried. I'm. It says it's... Oh, and I did look it up. It's $60, and it's SPF 18. Um, that It's supposed to be a fine as ink foundation with broad spectrum SPF that perfects the skin while it wears weightlessly for 24 hours. So, based on those claims, it does wear weightlessly. Like, it feels, it's the weirdest feeling on your skin. Like, my skin feels like I don't have makeup on. Um, it's like very soft and velvety. It's, it definitely feels like a high-end foundation. It doesn't feel heavy, even though it is light, lighter coverage. I would say it doesn't feel heavy, like, as if I have makeup on. Um, just, it just feels, really soft and smooth going on your skin. Even now, just touching it, my skin feels really soft. I would definitely say it's a matte finish. Um, I would say that this is great if you have oily skin or even combination skin. For my dry skin, I'm not sure. Um, I can see it. I'm gonna see if I can give you a better view. I can see it like clinging onto my dry skin on my nose. Let me move to the light. Okay, not my traditional filming area, but do you see how like my nose is super dry? I've got like little dry patches. I just don't like it. And it's $60 a bottle, come on. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and do my concealer and powder and I'll be right back. Okay, now that I've put on more of my face, I do feel like the foundation is a pretty finish. I think that I have like a very nice mattified um, smooth veil, but I definitely had to use something else. Like I had to use concealer. Um, I still can see through the foundation. I did two coats. And I used my NYX Stay Matte But Not Flat Powder Foundation. 
and I still feel like I can see like the dots and redness underneath it. So this is definitely a light coverage for me. Personally, it's not my favorite, but some people must love it because they can charge $60. That's why I sell. Come on. Um, but if you have oily, dry skin, or you have per oily skin, or combination is what I meant, or if you have perfect skin, flawless, no foundation things that you need covered, like redness or pimples or things like that, or dryness, dry patches, I think this is a great foundation for you. Um, I don't know if I think it's worth $60, but the texture is pretty cool. I've never felt anything like that in a foundation. Um, but that is my review of the YSL Fusion Ink Foundation. If you guys have tried any other of the foundations by YSL that are better for dry skin, please leave me um, some comments in the down bar area because I'm definitely curious. I mean, they must be pretty good if they can charge $60, right? All right, guys, that's it. I will talk to you later. Bye.